it's the Insane Gamers back again with another PBR battle. And look, look at this. I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, I've never seen a pass that awesome before. You haven't, because this is better than the other Ambipom pass I had. This one is all Ambipom, and it's so much better. It's a lot more effective at killing stuff. So let me just go through what each of the Ambipoms do. They all do different stuff. Top left is a like Toxic Orb facade using one. Top right, last resort spamming. Middle left is a special one. The one selected as number two, or a middle right, is one of the physical sle uh, sweepers. Bottom left, one selected as number one, is another physical sweeper. And the bottom right is a is like a support one. It has taunt and um, screech. It's basically my anti-trick room. Uh, slash anti bulky Pokemon and be palm. So anyway, we're on the Lagoon Gol. Okay, tongue tied. We are in the Lagoon Coliseum, and my opponent's team looks pretty cool. So I'm psyched for this battle. I'm like, I'm ready for this. I'm ready to start using Amber Palm awesomeness. So anyway, five out of my six Amber Palm have fake out, but you know. That's basically Ambipom's best asset, is Fake Out, so I just go for the double Fake Out lead, because on an Ambipom, double Fake Out is actually worth it, because it does damage. Seeing that, though, he protects, which I guess is a really good prediction, because, well, Ambipom is like, it has Fake Out stamped on its forehead, I mean. But still, we, lo we still love you, Ambipom, even though you're pretty predictable, we still love you. So, uh, both of these physical sweepers I have out right now, they're both Life Orbed. But they're my only life orb Pokemon on this team. My other ones have other items and stuff. Like my last resort spamming one has a silk scarf. Anyway, so now I'm gonna ice punch the Dawn fan, hoping it'll kill it. And um, low kick is a very, very good move on Ampipom. I chose it over Brick Break because one, if the opponent is really heavy, it's like 120 power, and that's awesome. And if the opponent is light, and it's below 60 power, it gets boosted by Technician. So, it's a really, really good attack on Ambipom. So, anyway, I'm gonna low kick that Licky Licky, because it's pretty fat, and close up on Ambipom, yay. It's pretty fat, and it should die. I love how the Ambipom move in sync. They're like, dancing in sync, just boom. Yeah. So anyway, cause back Don Fan. Just wanting to preserve it, maybe it's important for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, out comes a Bronzong. Not good. Ugh, Bronzong. Yuck. So, Ice Punch, and this is actually really funny. This is hilarious. It's awesome. I get Freeze Hacks. Yay! Finally Freeze Hacks on someone other than myself. So, Ambipom goes for Low Kick, and Licky Licky goes out, and it almost gets one hit KO'd by my Ambipom's Low Kick, and then he uses Earthquake, and it does a pathetic amount of damage, because Licky Licky's attack is not that good. I mean, it's okay, but it really needs a sword stance to actually do something. Uh, but, Licky Licky, we still like you. So now Ambipalm here is going to go for a payback on that Bronzong, hoping it'll do quite a bit. I know it won't kill it, because Bronzong is like the Great Wall of China. You just can't break it. It's crazy defensive. And my other Ambipalm, I'm going to use fake, um, not fake out, double hit this time, in case he decides to switch out to somebody who, like, resists low kick. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember what his team was. I thought he might still have the ninja ask. So anyway, I double hit, but he protects, so whatever. I wonder, now, I wonder here what his Bronzong was doing. It might have been using Explosion. In fact, I'm pretty sure that, uh, right here, hold on. Life orb. I'm pretty sure that right here is probably going for explosion, which wouldn't have been, would not have bode well for our Ambipon friends. Anyway, so now I know the Licky Licky's are probably going to use Earthquake again or something, and I'm not really worried about the Licky Licky at this point because it can't really do anything. So I'm going to double team this Bronzong because I need to get it out of the way, and I know he's not going to switch out a frozen Pokemon because that would just be stupid. Um, so, anyway. Just like I thought, Licky Licky gets caught back. And out comes Don Fan again. So Don Fan the elephant is back out. And Amber Palm is gonna go for low kick. I don't know how it kicks something. Hi, how, how does it kick it? It doesn't have well, Amber Palm has legs, but it doesn't use them to kick. It like hits it with its arms. Oh, whatever. So anyway, the combined efforts of the Amber Palm have caused the Great Wall of China to crumble. Yes, Ambipom, you miraculously came unfrozen and died. 
Good job, Bronzong. So, I'm just basically sweeping him with Ambipom now, and that is like the best thing ever. Ambipom is the most epic Pokemon in the universe, guys. It is like the god. I think I've said this a couple times, but come on now. So, out comes a Blaziken, and now I'm thinking, oh crap, that isn't good, because I know Blaziken likes to use Vacuum Wave, or Mock Punch, or whatever else they can get. And, well, fighting type moves in general. So, I thought, I, I was really thought that he was going to use Vacuum Wave on me or something and take out one of my Ambipoms. So, I just went for the attacks. I didn't go for, like, anything spectacular. Just, uh, Ice Punch and Aerial Ace. And, Blaziken actually goes for Endure. So, I don't know if that was the smartest choice for him, but then again, he didn't really have much of a choice. So, Ice Shard, and no matter how hard he tries, you cannot kill Ambipom. No, no, you cannot kill Ambipom. In fact, the <laughs> I only lost one Ambipom in this fight to my own Life Orb. So that's awesome. Don Fan goes down to Ice Punch. I don't know how I killed a Don Fan with physical moves, but oh well. Ambipom, you're just that awesome. And sadly, I go down for my Life Orb, but hey, you did your job, and you did it freaking well. Like, you did it really well. And the other one's going for Aerial Ace. And it hits, and it brings it down to its little indoor thing, one hit point. So, I know that he's probably going to be doing something really evil now that he has a Salic boost. Lucky for me, I have the move Fake Out. <laughs> so, now I'm just checking to make sure this guy does have Fake Out. This is my shiny one, by the way. Just just checking. I think my other one is my special uh, Amber Palm, so that one doesn't have Fake Out. So, I didn't want to send that one in. Anyway, out comes my pink Ambipom. Pink Ambipom is amazing, just like Licky Licky is pink as well, but not as amazing. So, my pink Ambipom here is going to go for Fake Out on the place again, because I need to take it out, and it has a Salic Boost. And my regular purple Ambipom is going to finish off this Licky Licky with a low kick, because, well, even though we all like Licky Licky, we know Ambipom must prevail. So, seeing the Fake Out coming, he goes for Endure. 50% uh, chance, doesn't get it, so my pink freaking Ambipom hits him in the face with its pink hands, and he dies because he's not as awesome as my pink Ambipom. So, goodbye Blaziken, you tried. And now, Ambipom number two, the purple one, is going to low kick, and Licky Licky is gone. Awesome, awesome fight, just showing you that Ambipom, in fact, is the god of all Pokemon. Arceus, you have been dethroned, so yeah. Uh... Good job, Ambipom. I guess I'll see you all next time for another PBR battle, specifically another Ambipom 2 battle, because it's just that amazing. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Yeah, we're not monkeying around, we're ready to win.